What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. This is TWA Motorsports and today we're going to take a look at what we had done to the Corvette, but first we got to pull it out. guys it is out let's talk about the first thing which is pretty obvious and we had the windows tinted so uh, the front windshield I had done at 35% pretty dark the rest of the car I had done at 5% which makes this car look so much better than what it did look uh, obviously when we picked it up it was like driving a fishbowl as you can see just about everything even my wife's daily driver Buick the truck everything has the windows tinted I haven't got to the Camaro yet but um, as you can see, we're currently working on it. That's a video that's coming up soon, but um, the paint protective film. Now I caught a lot of heat from this when I talked about driving this car home and when I bought this car, there's a couple people that are like, that's crazy, that's stupid money. Why would you, why would you tape it off? Why don't you just put it in a bubble? Now, look, I, I love the comments guys, good or bad. I, it doesn't matter to me. Um, what we had done was we had paint protective film wrapped on the car and so the areas that were done was the front bumper the hood the front fenders the bottom of the door here so starting at this body line this and the rocker and then this entire piece here and then the entire rear quarter panel and then that comes to the bumper on the back as well so um, my last the ZR1 I, I rarely drove and uh, I wanted to drive this car more so I wanted it to be protected now I know that it's not going to keep every chip from happening but what I do know is that on my ZR1 there was a couple spots here where rocks kicked up and hit this panel now GM kind of noticed that and they uh, from the factory got a piece of fly poop but uh, GM from the factory um, put a piece here because they recognize that that was an issue the problem is is it it happens up here as well and they don't really put anything there so and their pieces are just a square cut out which looks kind of odd so they removed that when they did this whole process and uh, obviously this whole quarter panel is done now so uh, it's like I said it's not going to keep everything from happening there's already some dirt here from driving it home um, but rocks kick up this this these things throw so many rocks because there's nothing here. Now, a lot of people buy a fender extension that um, goes right here and keeps some of the rocks from like popping up and hitting the back, which is maybe something I should look into. But I feel a lot better about driving this thing with it protected. And uh, another cool thing that they did is when they did the rocker, they wrap over this panel here. So you can kind of vaguely see a line right here, but it, this whole panel here is covered. So when you're getting in and out, uh, a lot of times people now i'm really careful when i get in and out but a lot of times people will drag their feet so um, on both sides this is covered so you're not going to scratch up your corvette panel and any of that so super super nice and uh I, i'm happy with it so now to the cost which is probably what a lot of people want to know because you know it's not cheap to have paint protective film done the other thing they did is uh, they took the emblem completely off wrapped underneath it so it's completely sealed the edges of the hood are completely wrapped and you can kind of vaguely see i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up but you can kind of see the line because they don't wrap it they don't take the bumper off um, but it's right up to the ledge of the bumper but the cost so to have what i had done and we're just talking about the paint protective film, not the window tent, but the paint protective film was $2,500. Now, that's a lot of money to spend on a clear film that goes on your car, but it is also a lot of protection. You know, the same people that say 
that's crazy. You should just put it in a bubble. Those people probably wax their car and uh, wax helped protect it. A lot of people ceramic coat their car. This coating is from, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like S tech, I think is the, the company. Um, but it has a ceramic coating built into it. So it beads water like crazy. I got, um, when I got home, I washed it and, uh, it, you have to wait a little bit of time before you just throw water on it. But it's been a little over a week since it's been finished. And uh, this was done while I was on vacation, which was an awesome, awesome timing because I didn't have to worry about wanting to drive it or anything like that. But um, it does have that built into it. So it's pretty water phobic as far as when you put water on it. Now, I don't have any water out here. I'd love to show you guys that. And maybe I will in a future video. But tell me what you guys think. I know, like I said, $2,500 is a lot to spend, but it's also a lot of protection on the car. Makes me feel better about driving it when um, on my way home from Oklahoma, there's tons of rocks being kicked up. That's, that's where I got this car from was in Oklahoma. And uh, a crazy story is I traded the red truck in on this and there was a tornado in that town, which, you know, I, my heart's in, go out to the people that were in that tornado. But the town that I bought this from was el reno oklahoma and the actual tornado hit there and took out the red truck so the red truck is actually um pretty messed up i left the license plate on it and i was wanting to get it back and they ended up to, it took a while to find it so uh like i said that's that sucks uh but it was good timing on my part as far as getting the car out of there it was supposed to have storms that night it didn't happen until a week later but tell me what you guys think like i said i know it's a lot of money to spend on paint protective film but it's something that I wanted to do. It makes me feel better about driving the car. It makes me feel better about taking it out places. You know, if somebody rubs up against it, it's also self-healing. So as far as like when, a cut, when somebody, you know, rubs up against it or scrapes it, it uh, in the sun, it's self-healing. So it, like I said, it just makes me feel better. It is a lot of money, but tell me what you guys think. Hit the comments, let me know, good or bad. I, I don't care. I, I love your comments. If you don't like it, if you think I'm crazy, post that. Doesn't bother me. If you think that it was a good idea, it's something that you should do to your car, post that. But I'm gonna give you guys kind of a look around both sides so you can get a look at the window tent. Now the window tent is um, obviously that, you know, that's depends on where you're coming from as far as the cost on it. This um, anywhere from like a couple hundred dollars up to $500 depending on the type of window tent that you get. Now I had this done at Status Detailing up in Springfield and um I, I highly recommend them they did my buddy chris's car he has a z06 and uh, he's kind of the reason why i chose to go up there they just did a great job they keep the car inside they're super picky and careful and uh, so y'all I'll, I'll link their um, info in the description below like i said that's who i had do it so uh tell me if you guys like it like i said uh, hit that comments let me know if you're not subscribed guys I know this is a little bit different video. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what this stuff cost and why I did it. So uh, if you do like this, smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, make sure you ring that bell icon. That way you're notified every time we drop a new video. And well, stay tuned because in the next video or coming videos, I think we're gonna try to get this thing to the track, at least the videos on the Corvette. We're gonna try to get this thing to the track and uh, see what it does. Not sure that I'm gonna do anything to the car, but I would like to get a baseline if I am, so I would like to take it to the track. That is something I probably would have never done with the ZR1, like I said, because it wasn't coated. But um, we've got a ton of other stuff coming. Obviously, we put a Trans Am video out earlier this week. We have um, the Camaro coming along as well, and then the green truck back here and the Tahoe are obviously ongoing projects. So stay tuned to see what we do next. <laughs>